I am an indigenous Macedonian. I am Greek. I have been Greek since Macedonia was born in ancient times. How does one determine his ethnicity? Does he pluck it out of thin air, or does he link to it through language? Through culture? Through history? Or the land he inhabits? The former Yugoslav Republic would like you to believe that Greece is in violation of the Declaration of Human Rights. This is an outright lie. It is true that Article 15 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights guarantees every person the freedom of self-identification. What the nationalists behind the former Yugoslav Republic's push to distort the facts and history of Greece do not tell you is that under Article 7 of that same Declaration of Human Rights, my millennia-old identity as a Macedonian of Greece cannot be stripped simply because they want to identify themselves by my name. Nor can my identity or culture be challenged by creating the illusion of being victimized. Where does it say in the Declaration of Human Rights that anyone who wants to exercise their right to self-determination is allowed to strip another of their identity and their culture? The truth is it doesn't. That is just what the nationalists from the former Yugoslav Republic want you to believe, by playing the victim and by questioning Greece's ability to comprehend the meaning of self-identification. If the propagandists of the former Yugoslav Republic are as knowledgeable as they claim, then why do they not mention Article 7 of the United Nations Draft Declaration, which protects an existing nation's identity, culture and land? simply because all their false claims will crumble, and it will expose their fraudulent assertions, and destroy their attempt to play the victim card. The former Yugoslav Republic would like you to believe, that Greece is abusing the rights of ethnic Macedonians in Greece. How can this be the case, when the indigenous people in that province of Greece are already named Macedonians? Can the United States of America recognize a Texan minority? Can Italy recognize a Roman one? Do a handful of people, playing on words and making more noise than the majority, constitute truth? Where is the proof of numbers of minority they speak of, when the Slavophone people of Greece have openly declared that they are of Greek ethnicity? Michael Lavi once said, You can bend it, and twist it. You can misuse, and abuse it. But God himself, cannot change the truth. Truth is not found in modern men with agendas, who yell louder, demand more, and take every opportunity to push their plans. It is found in the chronicles of history, recorded in the stones of the ages, unaltered, and oblivious to the politics of contemporary irredentism. And those stones all testify, that Macedonians were, and are, Greek. Don't you find it suspicious, that a country that has been cited many times by the United Nations, Human Watch, the Red Cross, and others, for their abuse of their Albanian minority, their mistreatment of their Roma, and Bulgarian community, and their denial of a Greek minority, should make assumptions without valid proof, on another country? All anyone needs to do to verify this proof, is check. But they don't expect you to check. They count on you remaining ignorant, and believing the crocodile tears of false victims. The fabricators of truth in the former Yugoslav Republic, have cast shadows on the validity of democracy in Greece. They cite the December riots, where people exercised their right to be angered, and to disagree with their government's policies. If this isn't true democracy then please somebody tell me what is. Is true democracy found in Article 16 of Law on Scientific Research Activity in the former Yugoslav Republic, that denies its citizens the right to investigate their historical or cultural identity? Is it in the abduction and illegal detainment in a mental institution, of a blogger because he dared to speak out against the lies? Is it the confiscation of Bulgarian literature, because it dares to show their true Slavic origins? Or is democracy a weapon of words to be used on others, but never applied to oneself? So too, they claim that Greece has a historical obsession and preoccupation with self-greatness as inheritors of the ancient Hellenes. Pride in one's heroes and in one's past is not limited to Greece alone. Are you obsessed by your past because your schools teach the American Civil War? Are you preoccupied with self-grandeur 
because you celebrate Thanksgiving or St. Patrick's Day. If, as an American, you identify and are proud of George Washington, or you are proud of Braveheart as a Scotsman, or as an Apache, proud of Geronimo, Gandhi as an Indian, are you not also guilty of delusions of grandeur? Greece has every right to be proud of their ancestors. As much right as anybody else. The attempt of the former Yugoslav Republic, to disassociate Greece from its history, and ethnicity is well known. In so doing they can disconnect Greeks from Article 7 of the Declaration of Human Rights that protects the culture and identity of the rightful owners, which they always forget to mention, and leave them open prey, to false claims of violation of the former Yugoslav Republic's rights to self-identification. Through fabricated studies, claiming that Greeks are not Greeks but Ethiopians, to the debunked politically motivated pseudo-theories of Slavs and Albanians having taken a Greek ethnicity, to the obscure bibliographies that now remakes them Greeks again, just not Macedonians, the nationalists of the former Yugoslav Republic have been relentless in their attack. In forums throughout the Internet, the sounds of Greeks being called Ethiopians, Diggers, Turks, intended as an insult by those who are obsessed with the color of one's skin, can be heard quite clearly. All you have to do is look, if you really want to know the truth. When Marshal Tito of Yugoslavia changed the name of his country's southern province from Vardar Bonovina to the Socialist Republic of Macedonia, he did it to stir up disorder in northern Greece, in order to communize the area, and to gain an outlet to the Aegean Sea for his country. The name Republic of Macedonia, therefore, is not a fandom fear for Greeks. It is linked with the deliberate plan to take over a part of Greek territory that has had a Greek identity for more than four millennia. When Yugoslavia dissolved, Greece believed that the former Yugoslav Republic and its leaders would abandon the illegitimate use of a name it adopted during the communist era and change it, as the Soviet Union did, to make a clean break with its past. Not only did they fail to do that, but for 17 years now, the authorities in the country have continued to try to undermine Greek sovereignty over Greek Macedonia, which they call Aegean Macedonia, and to portray it as occupied territory that will one day be liberated. While government leaders declare that they have no designs on Greek territory, they refuse to remove such claims from textbooks, speeches, articles, maps and national documents. In fact, by insisting on the name Tito gave the area, they perpetuate the goal he pursued. Who is then unreasonable? The people with the valid link, through history, through language, through etymology and consciousness, living in the land that has always been Macedonia, who have so far given over the use of part of their historical name to keep the peace. Who has an agenda? An unrelated Slavic people, who speak an unrelated Bulgarian dialect, living in an area that was a conquest of the Macedonian Greeks, but never Macedonia proper. Who have an age-old history of territorial aspiration. Who incites their people to nationalistic fervor and expansionist ideas. Whose propaganda has been debunked by the academics of the world. I am Macedonian because my history, my culture, my land and the consciousness of my family link me to the historical Macedonia of Greece. The truth of the Greekness of Macedonia has motivated over 350 of the world's academics, from the world's leading universities, to sign a petition in order to protect the truth of Macedonia, from the lies of the former Yugoslav Republic. The truth of the Greekness of Macedonia motivated Barack Obama, to initiate Resolution 300, calling on the ceasing of the propaganda and irredentist policies of the former Yugoslav Republic, against the cultural history, integrity, and land of Greece and its people. I am Macedonian because I speak the same Greek language of my ancestors. Because my name is pronounced, and has the same Greek etymology, because my cities are called as they were intended, by the names they were derived. It is the Saloniki, not Solon. From Alexander to my grandfather, my ancestors have fought and died, to protect Greece from foreign invasion. I am an indigenous Macedonian. I am Greek. The Declaration of Human Rights under Article 7 of the United Nations Draft Declaration guarantees that my culture, my identity, my integrity, and my name are protected. That is, my human right. I am Macedonian.
Therefore, I am Greek.